हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रीम लाइन इट इज़ वेल नोन दैट एयरक्राफ्ट मॉडल्स आर टेस्टेड इन अ विंड टनल बट डू यू नो अ सबमरीन विच प्रोपेल्स इन एन ओशियन कैन ऑल्सो बी टेस्टेड इन अ विंड टनल दिस इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑफ द पावर ऑफ डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस इन्वॉल्व रिड्यूसिंग द वेरिएबल्स इन अ गवर्निंग इक्वेशन ग्रुपिंग दैम इन अ डायमेंशनलेस फॉर्म For example consider the equation of motion describing the elevation z of an object falling by gravity g through a vacuum in time t seconds in this equation you can see there are two dimensional variables z which has dimension of length and t which has dimension of time also there is a gravitational constant g which is dimensional constant to additional dimensional constants are relevant in this particular problem that is initial location z not and initial vertical velocity v not to non dimensionalize the equation we need to select scaling parameters based on the primary dimensions contained in the original equation there are seven primary dimensions let's write the primary dimensions for this dim these dimensional variables and constants we can see that in the present problem there are only two primary dimensions length and time and thus we select only two scaling parameters for the three dimensional constants g z not and v not let's consider z not and v not as the scaling parameters now using our two scaling parameters non dimensionalized z and t into non dimensional variables z star and t star substituting the value of z and t in the equation of motion we can write as on further simplifying we can write as now equation of motion can be written as the grouping of v not square by g z not is the square of a well known non dimensional parameter called the froude number given as v not by under root square g z not on substituting we get this form of final equation there are two key advantages of this non dimensionalized equation first it increases our insight about the relationship between the key parameters like doubling the v not has the same effect as decreasing z not by a factor of 4 second it reduces the number of parameters in the problem in the original equation there is one dependent variable z and one independent variable t and three additional dimensional constants g v not and z not the non dimensionalized problem contains one dependent parameter z star one independent parameter t star and only one additional parameter namely dimensionless froude number the number of additional parameters has been reduced from 3 to 1 non dimensionalization of an equation by inspection analysis is useful only when one knows the equation to begin with however in real life engineering problems the equations are either not known or too difficult to solve with experimentation is the only method of obtaining reliable information in experiments tests are performed on a geometrically scaled model rather than on a full scale prototype to properly scale the results of a model to a prototype dimensional analysis is used Before using the dimensional analysis there are three necessary conditions for complete similarity between a model and a prototype. The first condition in the principle of similarity is geometric similarity that is the model must be the same shape as the prototype and scaled in size by some constant scale factor. The second condition is kinematic similarity which means that the velocity at any point in the model flow must be proportional to the velocity at the corresponding point in the prototype flow the third and most restrictive similarity is that of dynamic similarity dynamic similarity is achieved when all forces in the model flow scale by a constant factor to corresponding forces in the prototype flow all three similarity conditions must exist for complete similarity to be ensured the most popular and simplest method to generate the non dimensional parameters is the method of repeating variables known as buckingham pythorum popularized by edgar buckingham 
This method includes six steps listed below and will be illustrated using a simple flow problem. In step one, we calculate the number of parameters in a fluid flow inside the pipe. In a pipe flow, we want to determine the pressure drop across two points P1 and P2 represented as delta P, which depends on the pipe length, diameter, fluid velocity, density, and dynamic viscosity. So the number of parameters n is set to six. In step two, we write these six parameters in terms of their primary dimensions. It can be seen only three primary dimensions, namely mass, length, and time. So the number of primary parameters j is set to three. In step three, we find the expected number of pi's or non-dimensional expressions. It's n minus j equal to three. In step 4, we decide the j repeating parameters that will be used to construct each pi. Like here, we decide capital D, V and rho as the repeating parameters in all the pi expressions. There are few guidelines to be kept in mind when selecting the repeating parameters. Number 1. Never pick the dependent variable, like delta p in this case, otherwise it may appear in all the pi's which is undesirable. Number two, the chosen repeating parameters must not be by themselves be able to form a dimensionless group. The chosen repeating parameters must represent all the primary dimensions in the problem. Never pick parameters that are already dimensionless. Never pick two parameters with the same dimensions or with dimensions that differ by only an exponent. Whenever possible, choose dimensional constants over dimensional variables so that only one pi contains the dimensional variable. In step 5, we construct the pi's and assign exponents a1, b1 and c1 to the parameters of pi1, a2, b2 and c2 to the parameters of pi2 and a3, b3, c3 to the parameters of pi3. Now we write the parameters in pi1 in terms of their primary dimensions. Since the pi1 expression should be dimensionless, equate exponents of the primary dimensions of these parameters to zero. The equation for exponents of mass is given as, the equation for exponents of length is given as, the equation for exponents of time is given as. On solving we get c1 equal to minus 1 b1 equal to minus 2 and a1 equal to 0. Finally, we get the expression for pi1 as delta p by rho v square. In step 6, we check that the pi1 is indeed dimensionless and finally ready to write the functional relationship between the non-dimensional parameters. Similarly, for pi2 expression, we equate exponents of the primary dimension of these parameters to 0. The equation for exponents of mass is given as the equation for exponents of length is given as the equation for exponents of time is given as on solving we get c2 equal to 0 p2 equal to 0 and a1 equal to minus 1 finally we get the expression for pi2 as l by d for pi3 expression we equate exponents of the primary dimensions of these parameters to 0 the equation for exponents of mass is given as the equation for exponents of length is given as the equation for exponents of time is given as on solving we get c3 equal to minus 1 b3 equal to minus 1 and a3 equal to minus 1 finally we get the expression for pi 3 as mu by rho vd the term rho vd by mu is known as reynolds number named after the english engineer osborne reynolds on rearranging, we get pi 3 as 1 by Re. So you can see that Buckingham pi theorem can predict the functional relationship between dimensionless groups. However, this cannot predict the exact mathematical form of the equation. This is a fundamental limitation of the dimensional analysis. Let's see an application of the expression pi 3 for a case where similarity can be achieved even when the model fluid is different than the prototype fluid. Consider an example where the prototype fluid water flows at a velocity 3.09 meter per second inside a cylindrical pipe having diameter 0.03 meters. 
If we calculate the Reynolds number for this case, it comes out to be 9.22 into 10 to the power 4. We can create similar flow conditions for a model fluid air by adjusting the velocity to 4.4196 meter per second and pipe diameter to 0.3048 meters to obtain the same Reynolds number. So for both cases pipes are geometrically similar since they are both round and the velocity and pipe diameter are selected to ensure that the two flows have kinematic and dynamic similarity. I hope you like this explanation, kindly like and subscribe and keep looking for more videos.